Governor Wolf made the announcement today everyone was hoping would not happen. Two Pennsylvanians presumed positive for coronavirus. I can assure you that our state government will continue to function smoothly as we respond to this public health issue, and we're prepared to take action on secondary issues just as we do with a natural disaster. Where do we go from here? What can you do to help stop the spread? CBS 21 News is getting you the answers. Team coverage starts now. Governor Wolf announcing that uh, two presumed cases are in Wayne County and Northeast PA and Delaware County near Philadelphia. Tonight we have team coverage of the news you need. We're going to help you understand exactly what coronavirus is and how to protect yourself and your family. Governor Wolf talking today about the presumed cases and Pennsylvania's response and preparation to coronavirus. Dr. Catherine Paulus from Penn State Health will join us to talk about coronavirus. As concerns about the coronavirus grow, many are rethinking their travel plans. Karina Chung will have a live report about the, avi the advice from travel professionals on your plans from a local travel agent. And Jasmine Brooks will have a live report on how organizers of large events are working to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. Thanks for being with us here tonight at 5. I'm Rob Hanrahan. We have a lot to talk about. Jasmine will be along with us in a minute with a live report. Pennsylvania confirms its first Two presumptive cases of coronavirus. Two people tested in Delaware and Wayne counties are being quarantined tonight. Let's get right to CBS 21's Michael Gorsigner. He's going to kick off our team coverage. He joins us live from Pima headquarters with the latest on what's being done to contain the spread. Michael, what have you found out? Hey, Mike, thank you. We take you from Mike live right to Atlanta, where the president is at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Let's take a listen. Report. So they're not putting those people in there, and you're smiling when I say that. Who are you from, by the way? I'm, I'm from CNN. You are, I don't watch CNN, that's why I don't recognize you. I really don't. I don't watch it. I don't watch CNN because CNN is fake news. Go ahead. Can you just address the economic piece, though? Because there is obviously a lot of... Of course it's an effect. I mean, it is an effect. Now, you know, if you know anything about me, I like when people happen to stay in the United States and spend their money in the United States, okay? So I think people are staying in the United States more. They're going to spend their money in the United States. So business is ended. It will end. People have to remain calm. Uh, I do think that uh, if you look at the numbers, you look at the numbers from other years on other things, and you look at these numbers, it'll be interesting to see what you find. And, and statistics will soon be coming out. But there was a big statistic today that it's way under 1%. They said one-tenth of 1% in one case. But nobody really knows. We'll be able to find out. The problem is the people that get better, that don't see a doctor, don't go to a hospital, those people get better. If they were in the numbers, the numbers would look much better in terms of death rate. Are you concerned there'll be some bankruptcies? Oh, I think you'll have... All right, you've been listening to President Trump. He's making a short visit at the CDC uh, today and speaking uh, more of the political side of this right now. If the president gets back to what America is actually going to do to help prevent the spread, we'll bring that right to you. Of course, you know about the, the money, the appropriations the president uh, has approved. We'll talk about that a little bit later in this newscast. One of the victims that is being tested right now is in northeastern Pennsylvania. Fox 56's Jack Reinhardt takes us to the Honesdale area where word today is just getting out. We're told that the patient here in Wayne County is an adult who traveled outside of the country where the virus is present. Most residents I spoke with say they're not going to be taking any extra precautions. CBS 21 News begins with breaking news. We are following breaking news out of Cumberland County this morning. Two people are dead, including a firefighter after a fire in Monroe Township. CBS 21's Ryan Eldridge is on the scene. Ryan, talk to me about what you know so far. Well, Jesse, what we know is exactly what you just said. We have two dead this morning, one of them a firefighter. We also have another victim who was taken to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. Yeah, Jesse, and you're talking about travel this morning. Well, coronavirus concerns over travel at Philadelphia International Airport, they're a little bit mixed right now. Doctors say the virus is transmitted when someone who is sick coughs or sneezes and someone else then breathes in that air. They say it's typically spread when people are in close contact with each other, like at the airport. Going on my first cruise, so that's a little, uh, people are saying you're still going to do it yet? Yeah, I'm still going to go and I'm going to have a great time. Do the best you can. It's not going to stop me from traveling or, you know, live my life. My hand sanitizer, I have my life all. I mean, I'm wiping down. I'm trying not to use the bathroom. I'm trying not to buy anything, anything to drink here or anything. So, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it safe as possible. 
I'm sorry, but the difference is funny. You got one lady living her best life and the other guy wants to live in a plastic bag. This week, Vice President Mike Pence told reporters there, there have been no talks of limiting travel in the United States.